Okay, so I'm going to take you on a walk. I'm going to do, I'm going to head to my community garden, which is on my street, so it's not very far, but kind of like thinking to walk up there right now is kind of overwhelming because I don't feel too good. So I'm going to turn the camera. I don't have one of the fancy cameras that I can see myself, so I'm just going to vlog, and you won't see me, which might not be too bad of an idea and you can just hear me okay so here's a picture of my dog he is really cold too but i'm not really sure why because the temperature in here says 74 so it's, it's not really that cold okay so i'm leaving my house sorry the traffic is really loud and it's really windy today and raining. This is typical winter Portland weather of people. <laughs> okay, so now we're in my community garden. And yeah, I'm sure as you can hear, it's still very loud in here with the traffic. Here, I'll give you a view. I have not been here since it turned cold. I'm almost a little scared to look and see my um, raised beds. <laughs> so in the summer I try and um, grow a lot of vegetables, although this year I really cut down because I'm finding that each year I get a little bit more tired or restricted as far as what I can do because I really have to choose to garden. I can't really do everything that I want to do as far as hobbies, so I only have to, I have to pick like a couple, otherwise I get really fatigued. But anyway, it really helps with um, my grocery my grocery bill. But I really like to garden, so I just came here to put these things in. They're kind of like. Um, things that go over the landscape material that I didn't have in the fall. This is one of my beds. They're all raised, it's a raised bed community garden and it's private so it's a lot different from a, wow that's loud. It's actually like a train. I know you can't see it but this street borders like a train and a highway and then it has believe it or not a lot of land that buffers all that and so there are a lot of like um, there are a lot of like um, coyotes that actually hang out a lot in my yard okay this doesn't look like this landscape stuff underneath it oh there it is so it flew off so anyway, glad I came. I'm going to throw that away, I guess. I think my other bed still has it on here. I was hoping to make it a little bit easier for next year. So anyway, I do still garden, but I have to take it easy. I usually can just garden for about 15 minutes at the most. When I do that, it's a lot better. Like if I just take it easy, do 15 minutes, and then each day do that, you actually get a lot done. So anyway, I'm gonna take this camera off because I don't think I can do both of these at the same time. Okay, so I'm done with that project. And I'm heading back out to get something for lunch. Okay, so before this battery dies, I thought I could talk a little bit about the future videos that I have planned. Um, I'm still kind of like, kind of in the mode where I'm just talking about Parkinson's for people that just got diagnosed or people that have friends or family with Parkinson's. But after I get through that, I'm kind of drawn to the end of that and I want to go into some other things. I'm going to be doing some book reviews on Parkinson's books. I also want to really get more into the holistic health aspect of it because that's where my interests lie and that's what I used to do. So I'm a registered Ayurvedic 
health counselor and practitioner. So I want to talk more about Irrevita and how I help it, how I use it to help with my Parkinson's and what it is. A lot of people don't realize what it is, but it's just real quickly, it's uh, another health system. So I'm trying to <laughs> step down and I don't see where the step is, so I'm kind of a little bit scared because I don't want to fall. This is a problem. Okay, hold on. Okay, great. Oops, that's dangerous for me. So yeah, there's Western medicine. Everyone's real familiar with that. Um, and then there's Chinese medicine, which is the number two um, as far as popularity. And then there's Ayurvedic medicine, which really a lot of Ayurvedic teachers say because Ayurvedic medicine is centuries old, that uh, Chinese medicine is based upon Ayurveda and then it kind of like separated and they went a whole different path. Um, but yeah, Ayurvedic is the third largest holistic health system used in the world and it originates in India. So I know a lot of people are like using Ayurvedic herbs and uh, coconut oil and turmeric. Those are all kind of part of Ayurveda. So I want to get more into that. I also have a background in like Reiki, a lot of like healing art things. So I want to just, um, you know, just kind of try things and see how they help with my Parkinson's. But that's mostly what I'm interested in. So I'm going to turn this off for now.